Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a line I picked up at uh, Costco. This is the Coast HP 550. It's uh, got a thousand lumens and it's got the slide focus on it. Pretty cool. I wanted to compare it to the uh, the newer Maglite. Um, I got this not too long ago, and uh, this this was uh, has has pretty decent throw. It's pretty bright. Most people are familiar with it, but I just wanted to show you the difference in brightness. This is a 3D cell, and uh, this takes nine AA batteries. I'm going to be putting up a review later uh, with the Coast against uh, probably a the Phoenix TK60 and uh, maybe something else but for right now it's uh, daytime outside so I'm just gonna do a quick uh, comparison inside here and uh, let me shut the lights off and I'll show you guys okay first up we'll do the mag light the mag LED see it's nice and bright there it is uh, pointed up at the ceiling gets the job done and then uh, the coast HP 550 huge difference there it is off the ceiling and there's the hot spot and I'll move it out to flood the flood is really wide the uh, camera let me see if I can yeah the camera can't capture it all but the it's got a really wide flood let's see what it looks like And the beam is actually pretty clean. There's really not too many artifacts. And you can do it with just two fingers, one hand. It's not hard to operate. You could even just use your thumb. But what I like about it is it also stays in place. It doesn't move on its own. So... We'll do a little ceiling bounce comparison. Here's the coast. And the mag light. And there's the mag light. There's the coast. Kind of hard to tell because the camera keeps trying to compensate. There's the beam on the the mag light. There's the coast. See my nice dirty TV screen there. I mean, you can just see the difference in intensity. You can imagine the difference at night. So. I'll definitely be trying to get some beam shots tonight outside. Uh, if I can find a place where I can get some good distance shots, I'll throw up another video. Uh, probably tonight. So, there's the uh, little comparison. Um, batteries on my other lights are actually charging right now, so that's why I didn't have those in the video. But there's not too much info out right now about this Coast Light, so. You guys got to go to Costco and check it out. I tried looking it up online. I couldn't really find any info about it, but it's definitely a cool light. Um, you can see the spot right there where they had their slide me sticker on the retail package. Probably take some rubbing alcohol to that. But uh, it takes nine AA batteries. 
Let me do the uh, modes real quick. It's on high mode. There's low mode. You can see the low uses PWM. You can see it flashing. It's not too bad though. And then it's got an SOS mode, which uses the high mode. And then it goes back to high. <clears throat> so it, it basically, it doesn't have mode memory. When you turn it on, like say right now it's in low mode, if you turn it off you wait about five seconds it will default back to high mode which I prefer because when I pick the light up I want to know that it's in high mode you see it defaults back to high mode because um, I'll probably use this how this light around the house so I, I want to know it's going to switch into high mode every time I turn it on so you gotta wait about five seconds between uh, turning it off and on to actually stay on the mode that you're on, that stay on high mode. Uh, but like I said, it defaults back to high mode, so. But all in all, pretty decent light, $48.99 at Costco. Go check it out.